we might face heated conditions, but we should maintain our stand in him, serving God diligently, serving God truly, serving God selflessly, serving God without expectation, serving God joyfully, serving God spiritually. What an awesome message today. Yes, yeah, so quickly, I know some of us might have one or two questions regarding this message today. It's been an explosive one, and I'm going to be giving us the opportunity to ask those questions. So please, if you have a question, let me see you indicate. Just unmute your, your device and ask that question. No question is foolish. No question is stupid. We are in a class. This is a school. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm. We may we may have contributions too. Maybe somebody want to also contribute oh. to buttress and to support the word that we've yeah. had tonight. You know, contributions also yeah. is welcome. One or two. So, con so contributions are welcome too. I know this has been a loaded one. So we might have one or two things to say about this that God has actually been dealing with you as an individual. So you are free to unmute and share. At least this time I expect someone to say something today. If not, I'm going to do it like a normal school. I will call on someone. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. I, I would want to ask a question. You said something about serving God, going through the hammer stage. It is, you said it's not an easy process. It, at that point when a person is facing the hammer and the fire stage, what should be our disposition? as at that time and um can you give us a few additional tips on how we can actually go through this and come out shining like you have said sir amen amen thank you so much pastor uh one of the things that we do uh through the stage that can help you through the stage is to study the bible now mm. reading reading bible eh, is so important reading bible and that is why the devil will always try to make us not to even carry bible and now thank god bible is in different formats read your bible you see when you are reading something you don't know you are storing up something inside you a day will come when God begins to take you through the process. He said, he said, um, there was a scripture that always come to my mind. He said, when he said, after he has bruised me, then I will come out as gold. After he has bruised me. And he said in that Isaiah uh, 54 that he is the one that made the blacksmith that is hitting the fire. That is hitting the fire. He, he the one that is doing so that that product, that lamp will come out good. The word of God. I tell people, you don't need to go Bible school to learn to read Bible. If your if Bible, just be reading it as you read your novel. Be reading it. You know, uh, Ethiopian you know was just reading Bible, and then God saw that he was interested in knowing more. He now sent Philip to him to interpret or is it understand that what that is they don't understand he said okay this is he started to interpret and explain to him 
the Bible is very important. And when you are going through the process, the second thing, surround yourself with people who will not tell you to quit. Because the easiest thing for people to say is to, to do when you are going through those tough times is to pity you, to show pity, pity. Hey, this God that you people are serving. You know, that was exactly what the wife of Job was trying to do in all sincerity. Cause God and die not till day. What must you, how long will you continue to retain your integrity? If we not there yet, can't you check another way? <laughs> you know, there are so many people who tell you that if this church is not, can't you try another one? If, if this one is not good, can't you try another one? If this, uh, this thing didn't work for you, if this marriage is not working, can't you throw it away and find another one? So there are, there are people who will always tell you to quit. Don't surround yourself with only quitters. Please let people within your camp be more of those who can encourage you in the process. Encourage you to go through the process. In fact, some of them should even be those who have also gone through their own experiences, through their own processes also, so that they can share with you some experiences. And you will share what you are going through too. That will go a long way. And above all, live a joyful life. Somebody will say, how can I be joyful when I am receiving hammer? <laughs> the Bible says it is God that gives us song in the ninth seasons. He gives us songs when we are in, going through our toughest times. He's there with us when we are going through our toughest time. Put on your best record. You know those days we call it record. <laughs> Put on your best record. Put on your YouTube music and dance and, and just, just be listening to things that will uplift you. You will come out shining. The Lord will help us in Jesus. And then speak in tongues. Learn the art of prayer. Most of the things we go through is supposed to pull us to our secret place. Learn the art of prayer. Don't let what you go through take you away from the training ground. Let what you go through prepare you for the actual game. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. I think that's, a, that's a, an awesome response to that. And um, the reality is, I just want to add to what has been said in the, the apostle has said in terms of prayer. Prayer is not just to get answers, to get um, give me, give me, give me. Prayer is God God's mechanism to change us, to change us. As we engage in that process of prayer, we, we are becoming more like him. Our attitudes, our dispositions, he begins to manipulate them so that we will be able to face the pressure that we are facing and go through it joyfully, gleefully, without, people will just be wondering, what's happening to this person? That is one of the function of prayer. So we need to outgrow the level of saying, prayer is always only God, give me, give me, give me. Like what we are, what Apostle just said now, he said, pray and speak in tongues, even when it is tough. <laughs> that is a powerful one. God, we honor you, sir, in Jesus' name. I want us to just appreciate God right now for Pastor, his, his Pastor, God. before yes, you, sir. Pastor, before you, you round up, let me quickly yes, shift this. I don't know who this may encourage. I don't know who this mm -hmm. may encourage. Let me look at time too, okay. So, you see, when we lost our, our first uh, um, children that God gave to us, they were twins. We lost them. It was, very, it was a strong blow to me having dedicated many children and everybody is waiting for pastors, children, you know, uh, mama will soon give back to a child. And then we lost two, those two boys. Now, but one of those nights, you know, what other people say outside may not really mean so much to you. But one of those nights, my wife, came to meet me in, in our prayer room because we, had a, we have a prayer room. Any house we have, we always create a, pray, a room for prayer. 
only prayer. So she came to meet me in that room and then she was crying and she knelt down. She said, what happened? What happened? Why did we lose them? Why? So questions were coming and all. That was one of my hardest and most difficult process in my life and in my ministry. It was very tough. It was very tough. It was very tough. But I told her, God knows best. God knows best. So, so my word for everyone going through a process now, a phase, a situation now, those who give up never go up. God bless you. You are the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me. This is all I pray. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Just begin to talk to the Lord right now. So much has been said today. It has been an explosion of the word in an unprecedented dimension. God addressed the aspect of submitting ourselves to him. Why not just say, Lord, today I submit myself. I surrender myself to you. You are the potter. Daddy, you are the blacksmith. You are the one that sent the, I submit myself to your making. I submit myself to your molding. Form me, form me the way you want me. <laughs> oh, toba mommy, malika sandalabosh. Mari beshe fe bala pese tebe. Toba mommy. Aye me a duo. He says, You are the potter ah, of my life. If you mold me, my life will be okay, will be beautiful. Ah, are you here? Yeah, your life, it looks as if it is broken into pieces. The man of God said something. He said, God is interested in those broken vessels. Why not just bring those vessels to him now and tell him, God, this is my vessel. <laughs> it is broken. It is broken. Lord, come and remold me. I want to be a mighty vessel in your hands. Just pray that prayer tonight. Daddy, I want to be a mighty vessel in your hand. Remote me, daddy. Remote me, remote me, remote me. Uh, this prayer will reverberate throughout your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, remote me. I cannot do it on my own. Uh -huh. Tough times will come, oh Lord, but except you mold me, I am going to be crushed. <laughs> I'm going to be crushed. Lord, help me, Lord, so that I will be able to serve you diligently, truly, spiritually, not looking at anybody, serve you selflessly, serve you with joy, serve you with gladness, serve you productively. Lord, do your work in my life tonight. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Our dear Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you for blessing us in no small measure today. You've used your son to be a blessing to us. Daddy, we are grateful. Thank you, O Lord, for reminding us, O Lord, that the light we shine can only come if we remember that we are only vessels. <laughs> your oil is meant to flow inside of us so that your light can shine through us, O Lord. 
Daddy, I pray, Lord, that you will help us to always recognize, oh Lord, our need for you at all times in the name of Jesus. Father, every area we may have been broken, every area we may have been malformed, Lord, every area your children may have been deformed, Lord, Daddy, as we come to you, the Father, we ask, Lord, that you will reset us back, Lord, even to a much more beautiful form in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, from today onward, Daddy, help us to serve you like never before. <laughs> Your word tells us, Lord, about a Ron, son, who was so zealous? Ah, that he let your fire consume us, so Lord. Set us, so Lord, on fire, full of zeal. That it was said of you, he said, the zeal of the Lord's house had eaten him up, Lord. La Pasi Calabosho, there was a cancer in the life of Jesus, and that cancer was a good one. <laughs> it was the zeal of the Lord. Father, we pray, oh Lord, for every one of us here that that same zeal will eat us up, oh Lord. Lord. From now on in Jesus' name, we will not look at any man before we serve you. We will not look at situations before we serve you, but we will serve you with all our heart, with all our spirit, with all our might in Jesus' name. We pray for your son whom you've used to bless us today. Daddy, we pray that you will continue to set him on fire for you, Lord. Daddy, your oil, oh Lord, will continue to flow in him, oh Lord. Daddy, any speck of Dust upon, O oh Lord, the lamp, O oh Lord. Upon his, O oh Lord, that be that, that, O oh Lord, lamp, O oh Lord. Upon his life, Daddy, I pray you will take care of it in Jesus' name. Daddy, O oh Lord, this word will not be a witness against him. Neither will it be a witness against us. The grace to practicalize what we've heard today, release upon our lives, O oh Lord. We give you all the glory for answers to prayer. We pray for as many who will hear this word, O oh Lord. Daddy, Lord God, their lives shall never remain in the same. They shall be transformed in Jesus' name. As we live, we ask that your presence will be with us, O Lord. Continue with us. Minister to us, O Lord. Until our heart becomes, so Lord, a fire for you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you for answers to prayers. For this is in Jesus' most excellent name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. So quickly, before we leave, we want to thank you for taking time to be here today. And just to remind us that tomorrow morning, we're going to be having our prayer mountain 7 a.m. Ensure you work on your timing. Whatever thing you need to do to alert yourself, make sure you're doing that and connect because God is moving on that mountain. Bible says, on that mountain, it shall be seen. Everything you are looking for as you chose to connect with God, you will see it in Jesus' name. And Sunday, we are moving into our in-person service. Glory be to God. I cannot hear. Please, I want you to unmute your, 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 your devices and just mm. glorious. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 By the grace of God, Bible says our gate shall be open, it shall never be shut up, shut again. That is what is going to happen by the power and the mighty name of Jesus. So please, brethren, ensure you invite as many as you can. Remind as many as you can too. As many of us that have been given tasks to reach out to someone, please make sure you reach out tonight, tomorrow, because we must come in our numbers. Pray towards it prepare and god is going to bless us mightily and remember it's also it also doubles as our spiritual life conference so we just need to be there we just need to be there god is going to be glorified god is going to be honored god will show himself mighty than ever before in the mighty name of jesus so the time again amen Amen. I am playing something now. Okay. Glory be to God. Yes. So let us prepare. I'm trying to re uh, remind us of time. Amen. It's 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to what, uh, sir? Yeah. Because, because uh, we are just returning from uh, the lockdown, so we are not going to stay uh, as long as we wanted to, because that uh, program, previous program was because we envisaged that everything would have been settled and you know clear up. So we are going to be closing by 12. So it will be a three hours 
program from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. 9 to 12 noon. That will be the time. Mm -hmm. So prepare and come and God will bless you in jail. We're going to pray. We're going to sing. We're going to worship. We are going to pray. There will be prophetic utterances and there will be prayers. And I believe that God will work in our life, including me, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Have a blessed day. Remember, this program normally should have been for about six hours or five hours. But now it's going to be for three hours. Invite people so that they can benefit from this in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Have a pleasant night. Bye. Bye.